Mask. Plaster mask. Plaster mask. Plaster mask. Plaster mask. <laughs> um, hi, this is a small welding project. And what we're gonna be doing is making a mask out of nuts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I made a similar project like this before. Uh, this, that time I used this mask. I got the idea by Gipfelholz and go check him out. I really liked his video. So what I did is I made the mask out of plaster. Um, you know, the, the kind you use when you break a bone or something. And then I stabilized it with more plaster, and put the washers in, weld them up and yeah, hopefully get everything out again. And that time it worked fine. So we're gonna do the same thing with my face again. I already made the mask and how I made the mask I'm gonna show you right now. I lied, I didn't do anything. A big thanks to my grandparents who did all the work. So I just laid down, my granddad started greasing my face. Then he put on a plastic foil to cover my eyes because it really stinks when you get plaster in your eye. Then he just started to put on plaster bandages and my grandma, she, she helped cutting up the bandages, so yeah, a big thanks to them. My granddad pulled off the mask and then we took a look at it and yeah, where the plastic foil was there were a lot of wrinkles and also a lot of imperfections, but I think it's fine for what I'm gonna be doing. So next up we're gonna stabilize the mask with more plaster and my granddad he gives me the advice to always put in the water first then pour in the plaster powder. And this is how it looks after putting on a thick layer. Here I am greasing up the inside of the mask for the plaster cask. Mm. Uh, after we put the plaster, I let it rest for a little bit, then put it in the oven because I was impatient and getting it out was a real pain in the ass, but it worked out all right. And yeah, I'm happy with how it came out. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of wrinkles and there were also a lot of bubbles trapped in there, but I actually kind of like the old man style. Yeah, so I'm happy with it. So we somehow got to create a closed electrical circuit. So this clamp somehow needs to be connected to the, to the knob. So what I'm going to be doing is drilling a hole, putting a bolt through, um, yeah, tightening it with the knot and that's pretty much it. I just cleaned the knots because they were still greasy and yeah, so now they're gonna weld better, hopefully. I got my safety crocs on. Yeah, I also have my welding hammer, helmet, my mask because I, yeah, I get headaches real quick. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I got weld up dolls in her settings first, but I already put on the screw, so I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. Thank you. 
so at the moment it looks like this um, it actually goes better than expected and it's also easier than the washers the problem I'm having right now is a little bit with the welding beads and yeah also the lighting because it's already dark and yeah sometimes I can't see but otherwise it's really cool just got some weld beads on my glass on my GoPro so I'm not sure whether it was worth filming that close Well done, I used up about 600 knots and now we're gonna see how it looks on the other side. <sighs> Not bad. And it actually kind of fits my face. Not bad. <laughs> now I just gotta clean it up a little bit. When you zoom in, you can see like small imperfections and welds better as I learned this new vocabulary. Yep. It looks shinier, but I really hate the wire brush. 
because if it catches on, it really just throws it around like crazy. So, yeah. But I still gotta do more things like the nose, the chin, and still the other side to go. And yeah, I'm not sure how I want the finish to be. But we're gonna see. Yeah, I just had some fun with uh, a brass wire brush and also with just heating it up and getting some temper colors. So at the moment it looks like this. Now I just gotta paint it with some lacquer so it doesn't start rusting. And yeah, we're gonna see how the color is gonna change. I hope not so much. And I'm not sure whether I like the colorful face or whether it would have been better just to leave it like it was before. And um, maybe it takes away a little bit uh, away from the depth. Next I'm shaking the lacquer and giving the mask a few layers of clear coat but it was too cold outside so that's the reason why it didn't turn out as nice as it could have. Thank you for watching the video if you made it to the end and yeah for me it definitely was a fun project. <laughs>